All right guys, so today we're gonna go over how to actually program for body weight only training, give you some tips and some techniques that you can use to train at your home with just your body weight. Let's get into it. All right guys, so before we go on, I wanna make sure that you know that we do have a pure body weight only program out now. This is the continuation of Body Armor, the Body Armor 2.0 the next phase. So if you haven't got body armor, the first one, make sure you do that. But if you have done that, transition over to the next phase, which is body armor 2.0. All right, so body weight programming, right? So the focus points when it comes down to the entire program is first we have to develop the structure. Now with development of the structure, we wanna use compound movements. So push-ups, pull-ups, things like that. It's gonna be very important when you're trying to develop a full base of body weight training. After you do that, we wanna utilize tempos, right? So we wanna make sure that when we do these exercises, whether it be push-ups, squats, dips, anything of that nature, we wanna control the tempo. The slower the tempo, obviously the harder it's going to be. And then we want to be explosive in some movements if we're trying to increase our dynamic abilities. We wanna work slow, to fast, like I said, you wanna have a slower eccentric and you wanna be fast on the concentric. So when you're trying to figure out your tempos, make sure that you have a slower tempo when you come down on a lengthening portion of the movement and then coming up as fast as possible to increase the dynamic response of that particular movement. All right, so the methods of training. Now we're gonna do this throughout the week. So I'm gonna bring you through the entire week that I did for Body Armor 2.0. And we're gonna work in repetition effort and dynamic effort. Now repetition effort is the maximum amount of reps that you can do. So an AMRAP or as many reps as possible in that given set. A dynamic effort is explosive, right? So you're working power, power development. You're gonna be using plyometric drills and ballistic style exercises to increase your explosiveness. And we're gonna be running through a conjugate or a concurrent model. So you are gonna be doing multiple things at once and bringing up these aspects of training throughout the entire eight weeks or wherever you wanna go with as far as your programming, right? For Body Armor 2.0, we did an eight week program, but this can be taken through a 16 week to even a 24 week program. It's just as long as you keep it in line with what we're trying to do as far as a structure standpoint. Now, the objective. The objective is to increase performance and aesthetics. So we wanna increase both. We wanna look good and we wanna perform good. So your movements are gonna be coordinated with the muscles that optimize the function. So we don't wanna put that ahead of anything. Right? So our movements have to be in control. We have to be structured. We have to have good form and good technique. That's without saying. With each movement, you're gonna have optimal amount of intent. So we want to make sure that that tempo and the contraction is through its full range of motion. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna optimize your recovery for training progress. So make sure that you give yourself a day in between to recover from that session. Also, you wanna put in things like ice baths and sauna sessions to increase your recovery and also maybe some mild fascia release treatment or a massage, something like that in between these sessions so that you can recover for the next training session. You also wanna increase your training readiness and joint prerequisites to broaden your exercise selection. So increasing mobility, increasing stability, increasing your end range control of each movement is gonna give you a larger ability to utilize more exercises to have in your toolbox so that you can progress going further. We want variety and we wanna be able to vary these exercises so that you can continue to grow. We want to stress the body in a good way to allow it to adapt and grow further and further. Right, so we also are gonna train concurrently, like I said, and we're gonna bring up power along with hypertrophy and muscle endurance. And the way we do that, especially with the Body Armor program, is that we have two days a week that's dedicated to what we call repetition effort and two days a week that's dedicated to dynamic effort or power training. And then in between those days, you're gonna do some type of aerobic capacity training or oxygen delivery to enhance your conditioning or enhance your endurance. Now your metabolic conditioning, your mitochondrial density, your O2 delivery, these are all gonna be for improvements of multiple bioenergetic demands across the board. When it comes down to it, I'm gonna break down the days, but we wanna make sure that we're bringing up all these energy systems so that we have a full body of work. We're increasing our aesthetics, but we're also increasing our overall performance as an individual. Here's how the days look, right? For day one, we're gonna go upper body. Now the upper body day 
is gonna be a high volume day. Like I said, we're gonna do repetition effort. So we're gonna work into an AMRAP, right? It's gonna be low rest. So you'll have a high metabolic demand. That's why you're gonna be doing metabolic conditioning at the end of that day, still encompassing everything. So that's why we're running concurrent training. We're still getting a conditioning out of that day. And we're also trying to build some muscle and some muscle endurance. Day two is gonna be aerobic training. Now this is gonna be good for recovery purposes, along with increasing your gas tank. And you also wanna throw in some mobility training and also if you can, some ice baths or sauna sessions to allow yourself to recover from that day. Now I have plenty of videos on how to recover from training. It's in my, uh, it's in my channel, so make sure you check it out. Okay, so day three, moving on, we're gonna go ahead and move to the lower body. And we're gonna still stay with the high volume and do some mobility work for the hips and ankles. We're gonna do low rest and that's gonna be a higher RPE or higher rate of perceived exertion. So the intensity of the training it's, itself is gonna be higher. So we're gonna work to a maximal rep range, right? And rep set. And we're gonna do some metabolic conditioning on top of that because again, we're training concurrently. For day four, usually you wanna download that day. So again, you wanna deload and make sure that that day is more predicated towards aerobic training. It's gonna be good for recovery. And it's gonna be good to increase your gas tank. Now it is structured inside of Body Armor 2.0 is the same thing, but we're giving you two extra days. So it is actually a, a day six involved in that too as well. I'll explain more in a minute. For a four day model, this is what we would do. So day four is full body, right? And you're gonna go low volume, we're gonna still work mobility in that same fashion and we're gonna go higher rest. We need more rest, we're gonna be working more maximal power, we're gonna be trying to get a high neural demand and we're gonna be working dynamically, all right? So our goal is to increase dynamic movement and then also increase power and speed in that way and then also for conditioning, we're gonna be doing some higher oxygen utilization training or a lactic capacity training as well. So if you're gonna go ahead and do Body Armor 2.0, this fourth day will actually be upper body and you're gonna be riding along the dynamic effort and same concepts apply. Day five is going to be lower body dynamic effort and then day six back to an aerobic capacity day. So it's actually six days of training in Body Armor 2.0 and also in Body Armor. For this, if you don't have that, I highly recommend you take it and you check it out. But if you don't, you can take this along with you. It's a four day week split if you don't have time to do six days a week of training. But again, everything works. It just has to work for you. So make sure that you do that. And if you wanna check out Body Armor 2.0 or Body Armor, link is in the description down below. Eight week body weight only program that we have out now. It's my newest program. I highly recommend it. And if you have any questions, hit the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification, hit the like button if you like this video. Make sure you give me some comments down below if you wanna find out more details on Body Armor and on Body Armor 2.0. All right, there it is. Thanks again. See you again next time, peace.